Search for an Eva Beach man with dementia who's been missing for three weeks. This afternoon, his family and friends scoured an area in town after hearing of two reported sightings. Um, and they sounded very confident that it was definitely him. On the lookout for Frank Pangalinen, loved ones in teams canvassed from University Avenue down to Mo'ili'ili Neighborhood Park and the Honolulu Stadium State Park. Among them, Geronimo Arden. Oh, has been missing now. Frank's son-in-law. <laughs> for about three weeks, for about three weeks now. It's especially confusing for Arde, since he's the one who equipped his 85-year-old father-in-law with a tracking device, and they used it several times before to find him. But on May 15th, when they found Pangolinen's car at the Kapolei Home Depot, he was gone. I don't know why my dad uh, removed the... Uh, the tracking, yeah, tracking system that I put, that I installed in his, uh, you know, wallet. Now we're, 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 we're like in blind uh, looking for him. Now, possible sightings are all they have. And I was like, my heart was just racing. Pangolinen's neighbor, Rachel Abaro, thought she saw him crossing the street this afternoon. A false alarm. Oh, yeah, it's frustrating, of course, and sad. But I hope, we're still hopeful we'll find him. I've been thinking about it quite a bit. Neighbor Deandra LaPlante, also hopeful, says if she was missing, she'd want people to keep searching. Uncle Frank, we are all looking for you, and there is a lot of people that are not giving up to find you. Wherever he is tonight, this search party is a reminder that Frank Pangolinen is loved. That we missed him. That we went him back home. The last confirmed sighting of Pangolinen was in Kapolei. He was wearing a teal t-shirt, khaki shorts, and a camouflage baseball hat. Call Crime Stoppers with any new information.